this is the Transformers Generations Legacy Evolution Core Class Optimus Prime and Bumblebee 2 pack. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner. And here are Core Class Optimus Prime with Trailer and Bumblebee out of the packaging. And I didn't expect them to have so much accessories. Uh, so you get Roller, you get the Trailer, you get the Gun and the Battle Axe, Energon Axe for Optimus Prime. And for Bumblebee, you get his G1 styled gun and an, his original blaster pistol, which I put in alt mode as part of his accessories. Let's start with a little bit of comparisons. Here is the original Kingdom or Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Core Class Bumblebee. And here is the Kingdom core class Optimus Prime. It's the exact same mold for both figures. They didn't change the head sculpt or anything like that. What they did change uh, is the paint apps and the colors that the plastic have been molded in. The new Optimus Prime has a color accurate deco. The red is a much brighter Fire Hydrant Optimus Prime red. Uh, this one feels like the toy version of the red color. The Autobot faction symbol has been changed. It's much bigger now. It's got thinner lines for the outline. This one's much thicker. Silver paint is not as pronounced as the original version. You clearly see they've removed the silver paint apps on the legs, but they've added silver paint on the rims in alt mode. So it's a, it's a compromise. Don't think they should have done that, but you know. Also, they've remolded the legs and the hips as well as the ab piece instead of gray of this pearlesque glossy gray it's now this pearlesque glossy white the color has kind of grown on me but I, I at first when i opened up uh these figures it just looked so ghastly to have this kind of color matching with the red and blue i would have preferred silver honestly because the silver would have matched nicely with the grill and the bumper but they chose white or burlesque white so the windows have been painted better i think this is a much better hue or color shade of blue rather than this one it's more of a sky blue this one's more of a baby blue the silver paint on the front part of the cab uh they've kept most of it but they've gotten rid of these bits right here on the side of the grill which is a shame bumblebee yeah, and obviously the colors have been changed this one has been molded in a more cartoon accurate a darker yellow uh, than this one. This one is a lighter shade of yellow, more like the toy. Also, the wheels on this one reflect the toy's rubber wheels. This one reflects the grayish, dark gray color on the show. The windows have been painted differently. This is more cartoon accurate with the sky blue. This one has the original glossy metallic blue. Yeah, I think this is much better. Autobot Faction logo. Uh, this one is a little bit, it's less pronounced. Uh, it's sort of faded than this one. Let's talk about this new uh, G1 styled Optimus Prime trailer first. And as you can see, Bumblebee fits nicely inside uh, the trailer. You can put him inside and lock it up. Kind of like uh, Lightning McQueen in Cars. And I'm sure some of the other core class Autobots would fit inside the trailer in their alt mode, like Ratchet, Ironhide, maybe even Rodimus. Unfortunately, I no longer have those figures. I've been slowly purging my core class uh, collection. It's a nice looking trailer if you want a comparison with the Kingdom or Earthrise trailer. Aesthetically, I think it's closer to G1 than this one. Uh, but the colors, man, that blue plastic that they use for the wheels is... Man, why couldn't have they just use the gray plastic? They, I'm sure there was a lot of extra plastic that they... Oh, they did use the gray plastic, but they had to paint it blue. I mean, who does that? I love the silver paint with the Autobot faction symbol right there. Well, this one is more toy accurate. This one is probably more cartoon accurate. When you look at the back, this one looks heck of a lot more like a trailer uh, with the doors. This one, Cybertronian, obviously. And the... The space here in the bumper is a lot more filled out than this one. And they both have the foldable stands or, yeah, trailer stands. They had to put this one. I mean, they used budget to make, to mold this riot shield. And the reason being is, I don't know, for some reason they molded this hitch, the peg that 
it's too thick for the hitch and i understand what this hitch was for in the original design they didn't really plan on a trailer and they used that peg hole for uh his 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 blaster this is a what a two millimeter peg three millimeter peg and this one is sort of like a four millimeter peg or four and a half i have no idea why they they couldn't have i mean see even with roller it i guess it's fine you could you could sort of tow it but it doesn't tab on properly the measurements so, are wrong it doesn't even fit roller properly and it doesn't fit this three millimeter peg so i don't know why they couldn't have just molded this one into a five millimeter peg that has a three millimeter peg at the tip so you could peg it here and you could peg it in roller and, in, and as such they decided to spend more budget in designing a riot shield which optimus never really had in the g1 show because this is all this set is obviously based off the g1 cartoon and they had to do this you plug it in so that you can put the trailer on which is ridiculous i mean come on let me just open up this trailer obviously like I, like I showed you earlier you can open it up and put the cars inside but you can open it up like the g1 toy and he's got this the repair bay which extends much like the toy open it up i love the colors i love the cartoon colors that baby blue and the navy blue that they molded it in and you got the claw right here so you can have the repair bot repair autobots core class autobots yeah it's a, it's a nice little cute setup uh, there's no stickers or paint anywhere but they did mold uh some details inside the trailer which is nice and here is the kingdom or earthrise version of the trailer and as you can see this is a more modern take on it with two robot arms and this one's a more g1 look with the blasters and the radar dish antenna and here are the two rollers this one is obviously more toy accurate and this one is more cartoon accurate almost near identical to each other all six wheels roll properly they're on i guess they're on pins which is really cool that's a nice touch i'm glad they didn't make this roller static i mean i'm glad they made it like an actual toy playable figure very very cool so transformation let's begin with bumblebee it's the exact same way you plug out the gun gun off to the side plug these wings out go ahead and unpeg the arms hold out the, the legs and the feet split the the feet they haven't changed that it's still as difficult as the original one okay and then the arms they're gonna swing out fold out swing out and fold fold these bits right here and rotate fold down the arms fold down fold up the wings and there you go there is bumblebee in his robot form and yes, he does look a lot like his G1 cartoon self. And that is interesting. Uh, even the head sculpt looks great. I don't think they changed the head sculpt. We'll show that the comparisons later. But he does look like his cartoon version. I, I do like that. Now on to Optimus Prime. Let's see if they manage to make this transformation much easier. Because this is one of the more difficult core class figures to transform. Go ahead and unpeg the legs. Unfold the arms. Go ahead and just rotate the arms this way. Fold out the fists. And the, this panel right here is gonna swing out. and rotate that body. Go ahead and fold it. And yeah, it's, okay. Fold it up. And why is it not, what do they do? Okay, okay. It's not, it's supposed to be folding inside that peg, that, that claw clamp. So let me just see if I can just peg it in this way. Okay. And that's as good as it gets on my copy, which is ridiculous because you should be able to, to fold it back in. Okay. There we go. And that was weird. Okay. Let me just peg his torso in okay fold up the head okay and yeah he looks like his cartoon self even the white plastic isn't as ghastly 
as in truck mode except for this part of the neck which i don't know why they couldn't have molded that in the red plastic there's no be the same amount of plastic they didn't have to paint it don't understand why they couldn't do that but even the way the the blue plastic for the feet for the legs and the arms they're very very cartoon accurate and i am liking it this is the kingdom version and then this is the buzzworthy bumblebee version and you can clearly see that these figures are more i guess cartoon accurate and they're more toy accurate it's the exact same head sculpt but they painted it differently they painted this one in a more burlesque type of whitish silver right this one's just all silver the blue on, her, on this one's eyes are much more pronounced and i do like the color more and then optimus prime uh the face mask is gray painted gray not silver which is i don't know i kind of prefer the silver but this one does look more color uh, color accurate to the cartoon so okay watch my reviews i've always been partial to the show accurate movie accurate cartoon accurate versions of the figure instead of the toy accurate ones so yeah i think i'm, I'm going to be partial with these two so uh they do have weapons they Optimus still has his blaster. It's the same blue plastic. This one's blue plastic. You can see right there. It's just been painted dark gray. This one's painted in the lighter shade of that gray, but they didn't paint the pegs. Um, no idea why they didn't do that. Maybe they they were afraid of paint scratching, so they decided to save budget. Okay. Uh, he does have his Energon axe, which we've seen with Nemesis Prime. If you've watched my Nemesis Prime review, this that figure came with a energon axe same axe but this one they've molded it in a different plastic blue plastic they painted it in this nice banana yellow color or egg yolk color okay which no idea why it's glossy yellow it doesn't look like his energon axe it should have been painted in some form of amber color but uh who knows what hasbro's thinking right they chose egg yolk as the color and then this guy you can peg in his original blaster which is the exact same blaster that uh, we got with bumblebee they just molded it in a different uh, color of plastic and as a bonus we get the g1 accurate uh, blaster pistol yeah definitely they look much better than their predecessors if you prefer the cartoon accurate ones but uh the old ones are actually fine you don't really need to get this one the only reason i can think of why you would get this is for the trailer but anyway we'll talk about that in our final thoughts the the riot shield again if you if you're into this <laughs> no idea optimus never had a riot shield okay but okay fine hasbro you want to give him a riot shield okay he has a riot shield but this is really useless they could have used the budget for that shield onto more paint apps and so some final thoughts on this legacy evolution core class optimus and bumblebee two pack uh well it's not a super great set but it's a pretty good set if you missed out on the individual releases of these two figures and you're really into the core class line then i guess this set is for you on top of the fact that you're getting an awesome trailer, you get all these accessories and you get two of the most popular characters from G1 in your core class lineup. And I thought, I thought that was a big win for this set. Now, having said all of that, is this set necessary uh, for the casual collector? I'm gonna say no. Uh, you don't really need a trailer for your core class Optimus Prime. Uh, the original figure on its own is actually pretty good. But if you're a hardcore collector for the core class line, this is an absolute must-have. This trailer really sells this set. So with that, I'm going to give this set an 8.5 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Legacy Evolution 2-pack of core class Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Now comes with the trailer and roller. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.